the oyster fork. In this lesson, we'll look at a dainty little piece of cutlery called the oyster fork. We'll be looking at the appearance and purpose of the oyster fork. Placement, where to place it on the setting. And replacement cutlery, what to do if you don't have an oyster fork available. Let's start with the appearance and purpose. The oyster fork is used when the guest is enjoying oysters. This is one of the smallest forks you will ever see. It has three short, wide prongs which can be slid under the flesh of the oyster and used to cut the oyster out of its shell for the guest to enjoy. The oyster fork can also be used to squeeze the lemon or lime juice onto the oyster by piercing the lemon or lime. Now let's look at the placement. The oyster fork is an unusual piece of cutlery, but its placement makes sense when you know how the guest will use it. When eating oysters, the fork does most of the work. The oyster shell is held in the left hand, while the fork to lift the oyster from the shell in the right hand. This means that the oyster fork is used on its own. There's no oyster knife. And so the oyster fork doesn't follow the rule of a paired set of knives and forks. Unlike most forks, the oyster fork is placed on the right hand side of the setting, the side that the guest will hold it. Also, oysters are usually served as a starter, so the fork is set on the outside of the other cutlery. Lastly, let's finish off with the replacement for the oyster fork. If you don't have oyster forks at your establishment, Use the next smallest fork available, which may be a snail fork or a starter fork. To summarize, you should now know the following, the appearance and purpose of the oyster fork, where to place it on the table, and what to do if you don't have one. Well done if you could remember all three. If not, have a quick rewatch of the lesson to pick up anything you may have missed.